So he goes along, he shoots, he scores! So today we built a hockey puck in five minutes of time in 221 pieces. If you want to play along, make sure... <clears throat> If you want to play along, make sure to click on the link down below, the affiliate link. It will take you to Amazon, and you can purchase this kit for about $15. It's got a whole bunch of different colors, a whole, a whole bunch of different shapes. And go ahead and check that out if you want to play along with us. But let's go check out how I built this. Oh, yeah. By the way, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We also have a giveaway that we're doing for our subscribers. So go check that video out as well. Okay, let's go... Check out how I built this hockey puck in under five minutes of time. Let's go check it out. So we need to build a hockey puck. Let's go build a hockey puck out of five minutes. In five minutes of time, given our 221 pieces. So let's put five minutes on the clock. Let's get started. So um, hockey puck. So it's it's. It's a, not a sphere, it's a flat cylinder. So how are we gonna build a hockey puck? Maybe with these pieces like that? Maybe like a sandwich? We made a pumpkin pie one time. Maybe that, that kind of looked like a puck. It, there is a disc that we could use to kind of lay out the overall shape. Something like that. Now, we could use white, but, you know, it's black. The hockey puck is black. Maybe it's red and black. Maybe that's the colors we're going to use. We're going to use the red turn pieces here. And uh, let's build this up like that. And then we got these pieces here, these black pieces. Put them together to make a two by one. And uh, we got one left. Maybe we just use the purple on the back side. Okay, so then we got these these pieces on the on the turns. Now we have to find maybe that's gonna be the, the top. Not the bottom, but the top. So let's flip it up, flip it over, build this out the way we want to. Okay, so it's like that. <clears throat> Just like that. And that's the that's the general shape that we really want to have, okay? So how are we going to build the underside? So let's flip it over again. We'll just put some dark piece in here. Doesn't matter what the color is, because it's not going to be shown. So it could be, actually we'll use the, the pink, the pinks, pink colors. Okay, make sure that this still fits well. Yes, it does. So now we have to build up the bottom side. So, and it, it has to be large enough that it's gonna allow us to support these red pieces, right? You see what I mean by that? Let me zoom, let me zoom in on this. So we have to support those red pieces, okay? Like that. And then on the other side, the same way. Okay, that looks good. And then to protect it, we'll do that. Okay. And there we go, we got a puck. Let me think. I mean, we got two. We got two minutes left. What else can I do? I think that's a pretty cool puck. What if I did another color on top? Like that actually looks better with the with the brown in comparison. I wonder if I take this part off. Uh, I just cut my fingernail and I can't get it apart. What if I changed it up? What if we changed it up and we did browns on the top instead on the bottom? I 
I think that looks better. Honestly. Color scheme looks better. And that's important. All right? Use that there, that there, and the browns will go right here. And that will make us have a nice smooth bottom. Hmm. Is that better? No, it isn't. Oh, it is not. I'm changing my mind yet again. And you know, sometimes that happens. Sometimes you just go through, you give it a try, you give it a full try, you give it all the tries. And uh, and then it and then you find out that it doesn't doesn't look as good. It just didn't look as good. I mean, I don't like the color the that color blue. It doesn't say puck to me. But the brown sticking over the edge didn't look all that good either. So we're changing it up. It's hard to hold these in place and do this at the same time. Okay, I was once done and then I went over, you know, I messed with it, changed it up. But you know, there's a lesson there. If uh, if you don't like it, give it another try. Go, you know, go give it another try. Even if you think you might um, not be able to meet your deadline, give it another try. See what the other thing looks like um, and see if that improves the overall look of the puck or the look of the project. Um, and then, you know, you always can go back to what it was, right? And because I had that extra time, it really allowed me to give this a try. And uh, I think it turns turned out really pretty good. It looks like a puck. It's definitely got the right shape, the definitely, definitely the right size. And maybe I can use this brick breaker as my little hockey stick, huh? Okay. Well, if you think I did a good job, please leave a comment. If you think I could have done better, or if you like the brown versus the blue, leave comments down below as to which ones you think um, really look more like the puck. Is it more the color that really needs to be represented or the shape? Because I think this blue um, really holds the shape better, but you, you let me know. I'd like to hear from you guys as to what you think um, how we can use the Legos that I have to build a better creation. Love to hear from you guys. Okay, let's go check out what we're gonna build tomorrow. So that was a cool build. Now let's spin the wheel and find out what we're going to build tomorrow. So we have nothing but snow and ice and winter sports on the board. <clears throat> so today we're going to, or tomorrow we're gonna to build skis and poles. So make sure to tune in tomorrow's video where we do skis and poles in five minutes of time with only 221 pieces. And that's going to be pretty hard because it's all just long shapes. And I don't know that we have that many long shapes. So go check out that video and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notifications of when our videos come out. Also, go check out our giveaway video where you can enter to win a um, brand new Lego X-Wing and go check out that video as well. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.